Hi guys, DevilTrixYZ, and I decided to take a trip down memory lane once again and go back to doing some Tekken games. Oh man, I remember this cinematic. <laughs> yeah, you remember how the Tekken characters used to look back in the old days. <laughs> yeah, so since I'm going to be gearing up for the release of Tekken 7, I decided to go back and play some Tekken games. Although I'm not necessarily going to be doing arcade mode on all of them or story mode on all of them. I'm just going to be doing new things that I haven't done in, in quite some time. Because I technically did a marathon like this, uh, I'd like to say back in 2014, like near the end of 2014. Yeah, but I'm going to be trying some new things out, hopefully. Uh, well, in this first one, since there's really just arcade mode and two players, I'm going to be doing arcade, yeah, but I'm going to be playing as Devil Kazuya. Yeah, that's right, I actually unlocked him. Yeah, I'm the greatest Tekken player on- nah, just kidding. Yeah, I'm actually using someone else's save data. Right. You know what, you gotta give it up to uh, PlayStation 3 for allowing you to use other people's save data, I guess. Uh, speaking of which, I don't know. Um, okay, I guess I'll keep it at that. Although I think this- the music's on original. Really though, the music's not gonna matter too much. I'm gonna be lowering the uh, volume anyway. And besides, I don't know, I, I guess some PlayStation 1 games don't really play 100% well on PS3, you know, for backwards compatibility. They, they're kind of more authentic if you actually have an original PlayStation 1, which I do, but unfortunately my memory card I have right now is, it's all filled up. I only have one. <laughs> so I, I don't wanna delete anything off of that memory card. Um, I just want to see what this save file, <laughs> uh, well, whoever save data this is, they obviously like using Michelle Chang, so, alright, yeah, <laughs> actually, I'm kind of surprised, and how did they manage to get everything unlocked if you just use three characters, oh, well, that's, a, <laughs> that's something for another time, let's just jump into this, of course, I'm doing this on normal difficulty, I'm not going to try to, Get me stressed out and going for extreme or ultra hard. Yeah. Alright, so Devil Kazuya. So, uh, pressing starts. Hopefully, this works. I don't know. This is actually my first time doing this. Hey! Alright. This is honestly my first time ever playing as Devil Kazuya. I've always been trying to unlock him, but honestly, it's like ridiculous on how do you even unlock uh, Devil Kazuya. Uh, well, you have to essentially get perfect scores on the intro game Galaga. There are eight stages, and then you have to pretty much get perfect on all eight of them in a row. And honestly, it's just impossible. <laughs> I mean, I can barely get through one. I can barely get through the first stage without messing up, so I don't know how anyone's supposed to do all eight in a row, it's beyond me. And you know, I've even found some guides online showing me how to, or where the ships are going to be in Galaga, but honestly, even knowing that, that doesn't make it any easier, it's still a lot on timing. Oh man. Trying to remember some controls, but I'm kind of getting confused here because I'm so used to current Tekken games. Hey, perfect. <laughs> you know, overall, I say the design for Devil Kazuya is um, a little bit jarring. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, he doesn't look anything like a devil. I mean, like, where's the tail? Where's the wings? I mean, I guess maybe the face is okay, but... Well, actually, maybe not. I mean, where are the horns? I mean, honestly, it looks like it's Kazuya in a purple spandex jumpsuit. <laughs> That's what it really looks like to me. And it's just overall, I think the reward for doing all that Galaga stuff is just doesn't really uh, doesn't really seem right. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I kind of cheated getting my hands on Devil Kazuya, but you know what? Since the game doesn't really play fair to begin with, I. I say it wouldn't really matter. <laughs> oh, I can hear the music looping over and over. <laughs> well, again, it's not—it's not because of the uh, 
the game. Yeah, granted, it's kind of old, per se, but uh, it still works pretty well. I mean, I actually tested this out on the PlayStation 1, and it works okay. You know, there's no... The music doesn't loop or anything like that. So I'm kind of questioning, why does the music sometimes loop on some of my old games? When I'm playing them on the PS3. Oh, Gimli Jack got me there. There you go. <laughs> I was kind of getting worried there that Jack was actually going to beat me. Especially, I'm only playing this on normal difficulty. <laughs> Round one. All right, Paul Phoenix. I gotta say, even the difficulty is kind of a little bit high. Hmm, let's imagine get a cheap shot like that. <laughs> you know, it would have been something if they could have added in, uh, I don't know, devil like powers for Kazuya. <laughs> At this point, like give me like an eye laser, or give me something like some kind of charge attack. Ah, oh, come on, really, <laughs> really. Ugh. I'm losing it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> another close call. Jeez, even on normal difficulty. Wow. <laughs> but granted, I haven't played Tekken in a while, especially the first Tekken. It's just hard to really get back to the first Tekken. Oh, come on. Oh, man, it's like the recovery time takes forever. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> getting there. Oh, come on. Law, stop being cheap. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, really? That's kind of sad, man. I really had to lose on normal difficulty. <laughs> but granted, I think I probably had to continue like four or five times when I did on extreme difficulty or, or ultra hard, I mean. Ugh, come on. There you go. You win. <laughs> Too bad I can't do the electric uppercut. <laughs> Although, could you really imagine how much damage that would really do in this game? <laughs> oh, man, it, I just hate how it takes forever just to get back up.
There we go. <laughs> you almost got me with that attack. <laughs> Come on. Almost got him. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, going against Nina Williams. Oh, well, good thing I grabbed her pretty easily. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on. Get up. You know, I just love how the computer likes to spam certain attacks. Ah, come on! Ah, man. Get up. <laughs> Come on, I was clearly dodging. Oh boy. <laughs> Why does that attack always get me? <laughs> Seriously? Why does that always get me? I'm clearly blocking that attack. <laughs> I gotta watch out for that attack she does. There you go. Man. I find it surprisingly challenging. We're almost done, Devil Kazuya. Going up again, Sora. Adopted brother. I kind of forgot how acrobatic Lee can be in this game. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Lee can't stop me. Right, just one more hit. Yeah. Nice try, Lee. You win. All right, go on against Heihachi. I kind of wish there was some kind of special costume or something with Heihachi. <laughs> Would have been nice. Actually, what what's interesting is if you play the game as uh, Heihachi. Like, if you do arcade mode as Heihachi, uh, the last opponent you face is Kazuya, but it's, it's actually Devil Kazuya. So that's kind of interesting. <laughs> of course, that's probably the only time I ever really got to see Devil Kazuya. Wow, perfect. Sad I was struggling before with some of the other, other fighters. <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> Wasn't too bad. Of course, we get to enjoy this really cheesy cinematic. <laughs> you know, when it comes to the Mishimas or the Kazamas or 
I don't know, I guess that messed up family, it's always have to end off with the, someone getting thrown off a cliff, I guess. It's always like a staple in the series. Yeah, so, uh, that's Devil Kazuya. <laughs> and I guess for the most part, visually, it looks alright. But it's just that the path of trying to actually unlock him just doesn't seem really worth it, in my opinion. <laughs> uh... Uh, okay, I, I guess I'll just put something. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, the path of getting Devil Kazooie is just not really worth it. I mean, as for a, a decent visual swap, you know, palette swap of Kazooie, it just doesn't seem like it's really uh, worth all that effort, really. <laughs> Especially if you can just get your hands on a save file to begin with and then just play off of that. I mean, you're going to be saving yourself, saving yourself a lot of time and stress of having to try to unlock him. Yep, so that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Always somewhat nice to play the original Tekken every once in a while. <laughs> but hey, I mean, Tekken had to start somewhere. Well, this is Devil Hunter XYZ, and until next time.